nothing excites us as much as a new brand entering Indian market. And when the brand is Husqvarna, multiply that excitement by 10. Bajaj Auto is bringing Husqvarna brand of motorcycles to India in 2019 or 2020. This was confirmed by Bajaj Auto MD Rajiv Bajaj at the company's general annual meet. Husqvarna will be introduced in the country with the launch of Bitpillan 401 and Swartpillan 401. A test mule of Swartpillan 401 has already been spotted. Even completely camouflaged bodywork cannot hide the outline of this gorgeous scrambler. With the manufacture of both the 401s in India, Husqvarna will have moved its entire global production of the two motorcycles from Austria to here. Cannot wait to get my hands on these motorcycles even when I know that these are going to be identical to the KTM Duke 390. If you like Jigsaw, you'll love this next bit. Suzuki Jigsaw 250 is expected to be launched in India next year. Like the 150cc Suzuki Jigsaw, the upcoming Jigsaw 250 is being specifically developed for the Indian market and could be priced around 1.4 to 1.5 lakh rupees ex showroom. Powering the Suzuki Jixxer 250 will be a 250cc single cylinder engine. The new motor will probably get a 4 valve head but will employ an oil cooler instead of liquid cooling to keep the costs low. Power output should be in the range of 22 to 25 bhp which will put it slightly higher than the Yamaha FZ25 but lower than the CBR 250R. Whether the bike gets a 5 speed gearbox like the Yamaha FZ25 remains to be seen but we are hoping that Suzuki equips the Jixxer 250 with a 6-speed gearbox. Harley-Davidson has recently announced a major strategy update which includes 250cc to 500cc motorcycle for the Indian market. The American motorcycle maker has just announced a series of new moves which shows that the future of its business lies in expanding the choice available to the customer and a renewed focus on India as one of the key emerging markets. While there are initiatives to bolster the capability and reach of Harley-Davidson brand, naturally the focus is on new product lines. Harley-Davidson has announced that come 2020, one year after the Livewire opens the Harley-Davidson electric motorcycle line, there will be new motorcycles from a new platform ranging from 500 to 1250cc. Three new product reviews were revealed today, the Harley-Davidson Pan America, the 1250 Custom and 975 Street Fighter, all boasting V-twin engines. Harley-Davidson also announced a new 250 to 500cc platform that will attack the Indian and Asian markets. I won't blame you if you pause the video right now to feast your eyes on this gorgeous prototypes. Royal Enfield will be launching the Interceptor 650 and Continental GT 650 in international markets between September 24 to 28, 2018. Media ride invites are already out, but obviously we are not invited. First ride will be taking place in California from 22nd to 26th September. After the launch in international market, both the bikes will be launched in India before Diwali 2018. There are a couple of spy shots surfacing on the interwebs, but if you are interested in the bike, visit your nearest RE dealer. Chances are the dealer will already have the bikes on display. From there on, we move on to the things that our country does the best. Make life difficult for us riders. The Ministry of Road Transport and Highways has issued a new notification to stop manufacture, stocking and sale of two-wheeler helmets that do not meet the standards set by Indian Standards Institute, which is ISI. So any helmets without ISI certification will become illegal and hence banned from sale two months from now. This includes foreign make helmets imported directly into the country without being tested for ISI conformity. And those found to be in violation could be arrested and face a jail term of up to two years and fine of rupees two lakhs. This means that all Snell and DOT certified helmets will be banned. Seems like everyone in the Ministry of Road and Transport eats stupid for breakfast. So what are your thoughts about this? Discuss with us in the comments below. So that's what's up with the two-wheeler industry. What's up with you? Let me know. Here are my handles. This is me signing off. Thank you.